In this video, I am going to introduce Video Puppet, a new way to create narrated PowerPoint slides. I am in no way connected to the company so this is a completely independent review. I have a lot of experience creating narrated PowerPoint videos. I have created literally hundreds of them for textbook publishers. In fact, I created over 100 videos totaling over 5 hours for just one textbook. I have also created over 150 video problem tutorials for my college students. About half are in operations management and the other half are in statistics. My students encouraged me to share them with others so I created two MOOCs on Udemy.com. The more popular one was the operations management tutorials so that URL is shown on the screen. I will also put a link to it in the description. I ended up creating so many narrated PowerPoint videos that I created an entire course on how to create narrated PowerPoint videos on Udemy.com. That URL is also shown on the screen and I will also put a link to it in the description. Having said all of that, for many of you, Video Puppet is all you need. I will walk you through the process of creating a narrated video and then describe how Video Puppet makes it much easier. The first step to creating a narrated video is to create your PowerPoint slides. No surprise there. The second step is to write your narration script. Personally, I have tried winging it without a script but that just does not work for me so I always, always use a script. I use Microsoft Word to write my narration. That way, I can just print out a compact script rather than putting the script in the notes area and having to print out all the slides. The third step is to record the narration. I do this with Audacity, which I also use for editing the narration. I create so many of these that I have purchased professional recording equipment and set up a small narration studio in my house. The fourth step is to combine the PowerPoint slides and narration in Camtasia. While doing this, you have to make sure that the slides and narration stay in sync. The fifth, and final, step is to have Camtasia render the video. Depending on the speed of your computer, that can take a fairly long time. What if I told you that you could completely skip steps 3 through 5? In fact, that is what I am doing right now. I created these slides and I wrote the narration but I did not record it. In fact, no one recorded it. Additionally, I never touched Camtasia either. And the rendering, that was much faster than Camtasia. I am going to tell you what I did in a few moments but I have a couple of other items to discuss first. As I said earlier, over the years, I have produced literally hundreds of videos based on PowerPoint slides. By my estimate, I have created over 50 hours of narration. Along the way, I have encountered several issues. My biggest issue, by far, is that I have no training or experience as a voice actor. Everything I know about narration, I learned by doing. It is one thing to learn by doing if you are going to create a lot of videos like I do. It's an entirely different thing if you just need to create an occasional narrated video. Creating narration is extremely time consuming. I find that if the final length of the narration is say 10 minutes, it takes me at least 30 minutes to record my initial narration. I stutter a little so I end up having to sometimes start over again. You might not have that issue but you will end up spending far more time recording your narration than you expect. Next I edit it. I have a lot of experience editing my own narration. Still, it takes me at least 3 to 4 times the length of the narration to get the final edit. So, that 30 minutes of initial narration would take me at least 2 more hours to edit down to the final narration. That totals to a minimum of 150 minutes to produce 10 minutes of finalized narration. If you make a mistake while recording your narration, you can simply start over with that sentence or paragraph. No big deal. However, if you only realize you made a mistake while you are editing the narration, that is a much bigger deal. If you listen to many YouTube videos, you will have noticed that sometimes the audio sounds very different for different parts of the video. I spent some time discussing this with a professional sound editor and he told me that even the professionals struggle with this. According to him, it is almost impossible to patch in video recorded at a different time and make it sound the same. This final sound is just so dependent on the quality of your speaking voice in those moments and the exact placement of your microphone and your mouth relative to the microphone. As a result, making changes to your narration is difficult. Many times, while editing my narration, I will wish I had added more content or said something differently. 
However, due to the difficulty of patching in new audio, I just leave it as is. And, if I do decide to make the changes, I record the entire slide over again. You can still tell when listening to the video but that is less jarring than making a change in the middle of the slide. Sometimes, this difference is so jarring to my ears that I have just thrown out the existing narration and completely started over again. The solution is a website called Video Puppet. With Video Puppet, you create your PowerPoint slides normally. You also write a script but instead of using Microsoft Word, you write the script in the notes area of your slides. That's it. You are done. You load this PowerPoint deck into Video Puppet and it creates your video for you, completely automatically. As an additional advantage, rendering the video is much quicker than Camtasia because it happens on their server rather than your local computer. The slower your computer, the greater the difference. A big advantage of Video Puppet is the video sounds the same each and every time. No changes because you were hoarse or positioned your equipment differently. To me, the biggest advantage of Video Puppet is how easy it is to change the narration. I have Video Puppet prepare my first draft. I then play the video on one screen while I make any needed edits on my other screen. No trips back to the recorder. When I have made all my changes, I just run Video Puppet again to recreate the video. The third big advantage is the entire process is faster since I am not spending the time to narrate and edit the audio. I had to type out the script to this video the same as I would have done had I planned to record it myself. Rather than having to do that recording and editing, I loaded it into Video Puppet and got the final video in under 3 minutes. Just recording and editing the audio for this video would have taken me at least 3 hours. As much as I like Video Puppet, there are some drawbacks. The biggest one is cost. As I produce this video in August 2020, the service is in beta and is not charging a fee. However, that will change when it comes out of beta. I checked with them and they do not currently have cost estimates available. I point this out but, to be fair to them, the service is valuable and they should be paid for it. Plus, if you have not already purchased it, using Video Puppet lets you avoid purchasing Camtasia. That should help offset some of what they end up charging. While Video Puppet has the best text-to-voice abilities I have heard, you can tell by listening to it that it is definitely not a human narrator. It's not bad and the royalty-free background music you hear helps hide it somewhat but you can still tell. Somewhat related to that, it is definitely not your own voice. I have a couple of YouTube channels that use video based on narrated PowerPoint slides and adding these videos might confuse my listeners. Or, it might not. I do plan some experiments to see how that works. I expect this to get better over time but adding extra features can be confusing. Don't get me wrong, creating this video was easy. In fact, I really did not need to know anything about Video Puppet to create this particular video. In conclusion, if you are not concerned about not using your own voice, Video Puppet could be just what you need. Check it out!